I cut open this Tack Life jump starter. I don't know what the model number is. It doesn't really have one. Amazon no longer carries it. They wiped out the page, so you can't even go to the old page that it's listed at. And Tack Life isn't honoring the warranty on this, they say, because Amazon won't let them into their system or something like that. I really like Tack Life, but this was a problem. I had to cut this open. I cut it open with Tack Life's Dremel clone. Carefully going to the, only the depth of this plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic this is. It might be ABS, but it feels... It's got this strange kind of fuzzy coating on it. But inside, there's this logic board of some kind, a circuit board, and it's got two screws. A little screw there and there. It's got a little flashlight up front with the uh, pr a prism that goes into it. And then this is the pack that was in it. And the pack is bloated, and you can, if you look at it carefully, you can see liquid electrolyte or something in the inside of it. They actually installed it without taking off this paper, so this actually is a little sticky pad that wasn't stuck, but there's a sticky pad here. It was hard to pull the pack out of this because uh, this is really sticky and it's kind of locked in there with plastic baffles. But I had some some goo gone stuff that I poured in there and it dissolved the adhesive. My limited understanding is that this is kind of a common thing to see in like remote control enthusiast world that you can get these packs. Nothing on here except the 11.1 volts makes any sense to me. It's not really searchable. I can't do these two uh, codes aren't aren't searchable on the internet from what I can tell. This was covered in tape and there's a bunch of different leads on here plus the main positive and negative to the card jumping feature. I thought there would be a capacitor in here. There's a little tiny capacitor under here, but I think that's just for uh, part of the electronics, the low power electronics on this chip.